Hello everyone. Today I am going to discuss D. Broglie dualistic hypothesis. What the, <clears throat> what does this hypothesis says? It tells us about the dual nature of matter. Since the radiation has dual nature, dual nature means it possesses properties of both radiation possesses properties of both wave and particle and this universe is composed of radiation and matter therefore de broglie concluded that nature loves symmetry and de broglie concluded that the moving material particle a moving a moving material particle according to de broglie hypothesis a moving material particle sometimes sometimes x as a wave and sometimes sometimes x as a particle a wave associated with the particle controls the particle or a wave associated wave associated with moving material particle with moving material particle wave associated with moving material particle controls the particle in every respect which controls the particle in every respect the wave associated with particle is called de broglie waves the wave associated with moving material with moving material particle is called matter waves is called matter waves or de broglie waves matter waves or de broglie waves wavelength given by wavelength is given by lambda is equal to h upon mv the most important thing we have to remember that moving material particle moving material particle sometime acts as a wave or sometime behaves as a particle if a particle is at rest means if particle is at rest that is v is equal to 0 lambda is equal to infinite or you can say when lambda is v is infinity then lambda is equal to 0 it means that waves are associated only with the moving material particles lambda stands for wavelength h stands for planck's constant m stands for the mass and v stands for the velocity of the particle h stands for planck's constant and standard value of planck's constant you know that is 6.6 into 10 raised to the power minus 34 joule second and m stands for mass of the particle mass of particle and v stands for velocity of the particle this is de broglie hypothesis the important thing that you have to remember that de broglie waves are associated with the moving material particles only moving material particles sometimes acts as a wave or sometimes behaves as a particle why with the moving material only when velocity is zero lambda comes out to be infinite and when v is infinite velocity is infinite lambda comes to be zero it means waves are associated only with the particle when they are in motion thank you